Hallelujah. What a great morning that God has given unto us that when he came to seek and to save, he found me and you. A warm welcome to all of us on this first Friday of the month of February 2022. We are grateful to God who has given us another opportunity to be here this morning. I want to read a scripture before we praise and worship. And I want to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25 and 26. And the Bible says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink. Know about your body what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they. There are many things that we can say about this scripture. But this morning, as we come into the presence of God, 
I know that Jesus is addressing one thing that in our lives that keeps us from thanking him, and that is being anxious of our lives. And the Bible says, therefore I tell you, do not be anxious of your life. And he gives us an illustration. He says, look at the birds of the air. There are some things when we look at the birds of the air that we fight. And the Bible tells us that they do not sow. They do not reap. They do not store in barns. We are able to sow. We are able to reap. We are able to keep for future. But the birds are not able to do that. And yet, your heavenly father, we have a heavenly father. We are glad that some of us were brought up by good fathers, but they cannot compare to our heavenly father. And I want us to consider the last part there from verse 25. The Bible says, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Jesus asked five very important questions that we can be able to ask in those few verses. But one question is asked, is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? And therefore, we realize this, we have two things that we need to praise God this morning. If God has given you life, you can breathe in, you can breathe out. You have a reason to thank God this morning. If God has given you a body, all of us are here because we have a body. If we have these two things, we can praise and worship God. And the psalmist, in the book of Psalms 150 and verse 6, the last verse, he says, Let everything that has praise Praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread, another translation says, let everything alive praise the Lord. Are you alive this morning? Let's give a clap offering unto the Lord as we stand up to praise and worship him because he has given us life. Amen.
in power, faithful every hour. Hallelujah, Lord. We're going to enter into a time of corporate worship. From the scripture that we read in the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, the Bible says, but 
Seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. The Bible says we seek first. Of great importance, the first thing that we should seek is the kingdom of God. And we seek God by, by meditating on his word, by spending time with him, with prayer and fasting, and with worship. You know, one thing I realized, when Jesus came back to life, when he got resurrected, Mark put it, go tell my disciples and Peter that we meet in Galilee. John gives us how Jesus restores John. But I want you to notice something about Matthew and how he put it. In the book of Matthew chapter 28 and verse 17. And the Bible says that when the disciples saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And in my thinking... I was thinking the disciples would fall down. They would bow down before Jesus because that's the best that we can give to our risen Lord and Savior. They would bow down. But there were some who would not bow down because they doubted. They still had the spirit of unbelief. They still obeyed and went to Galilee, but they could not bow down and worship the Most High God. And someone put it like this, that when the wheat blows in the field, the wheat is going to blow down with the wheat. But the tears will remain standing. And how I pray this morning, that as we may not bow down physically, but in our hearts, every time we worship God, our hearts must bow before the resurrected Lord and Savior. You know, Apostle John, in the island of Patmos, God took him in the heaven. And the Bible says in the book of Revelation 7 and verse 9, that after these things, behold, a great multitude, a great multitude that no one could number, of nations, of tribes, of people and languages. And they stood before the throne of God and before the Lamb. And all they could say is, salvation belongs to our God who will sit on the throne and upon the Lamb. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, this morning. Let me tell you, church. One day, our door-to-door -door evangelism is going to end. Our giving is going to end. But there is something that we're going to do in heaven. We don't need someone to go to heaven and come back and tell us what happened in heaven. We know one thing that happened in heaven is worship. And this morning, what a privilege that God has given us that in this body, we can participate in worshiping him, in recognizing who he is, in honoring our heavenly father. We can open our mouth this morning and worship God. And when our English fails us, we can speak to him in other tongues and worship him who sits upon the throne. And this morning, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Father, you're going to give us an opportunity to be able to worship you. Not because someone is watching us, Abba Father. Help us, O oh God, that we are going to come out of any spirit of unbelief and doubt, O oh God, but enable us to worship the reason, Lord and Savior, in Jesus' name.
Let's open our mouth this morning as we tell him how great he is. La Bush, the Liba, Lego, Legoza, Rebadianta, La Dorianta, Lebadia, Lebozuda, Ropai, La Bayanda. You are great. You are great, O God. You measure us to no one, O God. You are not comparable with anyone. Liposa. Reposana, Bracotezena, Repocadoe, Rapoda, Broketozana, everything belongs to you. Reponebaya, the high mountains, O God, the heaven, the earth belongs to you. Lipo, Repadai, Zepona, Ribaze, Repola, Lepola, Labadai, Zoponadia, Zeprohinara, Legosta, Libade, Shadadada, Shadadado, Setelianto, Lobos, Teliba, Lebo. Lebo, Lebo, Shadada, Lepo Tarabada, Lepo Tarababayandu, Lepo Zadiarabo, Lepo Zadabade, we open our mouth, O God, to say how great thou art, Lepoda. You are great in the sea, you are great in the water, you are great in the earth, O God, you are great in heaven, you are great in our lives, Lepo, 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 our Father who feeds the birds, the Pododo, the Pododo, the Kotanada, the Katanabo, the Polia, the Polia, the Posa Prohenama, the Koto, the Katodo, the Kotodo, the Kotodo, the Kotodo, the Internet, the Kanama, so Prohenama, the Podabo, we declare. That you are great in our lives, oh God. That you are great in this sanctuary, God. You are great in this land. You are great, oh God. Repola bado, mantolo bade, mantolo bade, mantolo bade. Jakola bai, lopo zamare, rekoto zona, lekato ramada. The God who do not wait for us to seek you, you sought us out, oh God. You came to seek and save the lost. Lepola nanai, lepola. Oh, say, oh, say, oh, say, oh, say, oh, say, oh, say, oh, la badana, oh, la badana, our heart sing, how great thou art, re pororo, re pororo, re pororo, we are desperate for you, Lord, we are lost in this earth without you, re pororo, in tarana, and tereba, in tarana, in tarabarianto, eshana, in tarababosa, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God, the Most High, who sits upon the throne. Repo, 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 we thank you, Father. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. 
just now you sang a song how great i am look into the great i am your situation your problems or anxieties and worries will be lifted up from you this is your day of deliverance and healing and this is your day of getting the miracle and your answer the dryness in some people lives god is making like a well watered garden receive you have been thinking where is my lord he says i am near to you i will never leave you nor forsake you i am god almighty or never change ramaku rishi dikka bala ramato reke parikula bala rashala badura how much you can believe in me the words you are told you the, the song you sang do you really believe in your heart in your soul in your spirit in your body then the answer is yours yes having known me then why do you doubt me why do you oscillate between two thoughts i am the god almighty i have come to bless my children receive your things which have been hindered all these days yes you are going to see break great break Our Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to worship you, giving us an opportunity to hear you, God. We are grateful this morning. May you lead us, may you help us in accordance to your word. We honor you in Jesus' name. Before we sit down, we are praying for nations, and this morning we I'm praying for the nation of Sri Lanka and I want to kindly request Sister Lena to come and lead us through an intercession prayer for the nation of Sri Lanka. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Father, I thank you. Lord, even as we sang, Lord, how great thou art. Father, we are here, Lord, because of your greatness in us, Lord. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We thank you for the very breath of life we have, Lord. Father, we thank you for our good health. Thank you, Father, that we are all able to gather here. It's only by your grace, Lord. And we have so much to thank you, Father. Help us never to forget, Lord. It is because of you we are living. It's because of you we are breathing. and father at this time father god as we gather together to lift up the nation of sri lanka lord father lord jesus you died for the sins of the whole world even as we sang the song in the beginning lord that you came to seek and save the lost and you are still doing it father your desire is to see the maximum people come into your kingdom lord and father i thank you and i praise you lord We believe, Father, that when we ask you, you will listen to us. You will hear our cry, Lord. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the one who leads us and guides us. You are the one who changes people's heart. You are the one who brings people to the knowledge of your saving grace. So I pray, Father, for the leaders of Sri Lanka, Lord. Lord, they could be men and women who don't know you, Lord, but you know them, Lord. I pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit to hover around them, Lord Jesus. Lord whatever plans that they make whatever decisions they make father will be all guided by your holy spirit lord because father it is not your will that anyone be lost but everyone come to the knowledge of your saving grace i pray father that you will raise up the right cabinet leaders the right people in the right places lord even your children your believers lord will be the light in the darkness lord father i just pray father god lord whatever they do father Holy Spirit that you will take over let your holy spirit be upon them lord your spirit of wisdom your spirit of understanding your spirit of counsel take over lord and the fear of god to fall upon them lord father we don't walk by sight but we walk by faith lord faith that you are doing a work we are not looking to see what is happening but we are looking to see what you are doing and father thank you for your promise lord that when we pray you said believe that what you have asked will be done so i thank you and praise you father god it is your heart to see them saved and you put it on our hearts to pray so father thank you and praise you that you are guiding that nation we come against the spirit of division discord 
And Lord, whatever is prevailing there, Father, we put it all under our feet in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit to take over. I pray for the believers, Father. Lord, we are a light in the darkness. So I pray, Lord, as your word says, Lord, let your light so shine that they will be, see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So I pray for all the believers in, in the country of Sri Lanka, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father, that they will be guided by your Holy Spirit. Father, that your Holy Spirit will lead them and guide them wherever they go, Father. They will be the voice, your voice in the darkness, Lord. And Lord, you are the light in them, Lord. And as they speak, Father, it's through the, your power, Lord, that the darkness will be dispersed. That is our heart's cry and that's the heart's desire, Lord, to see your kingdom come, to see your will be done in that nation, Lord. I pray for the economy, Father. I pray a blessing on them, Father. I pray that they'll have abundance. I pray for good health. I pray, Father, for unity. Lord, because your kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy. So I pray, Father, that your kingdom will rule and reign in that nation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We can get seated. At this time, we have time for announcements. Let's put our hearts together as we invite our secretary to come and make the announcement, Pastor Philip. Amen. Good morning, church. I said, good morning. Praise the Lord. Can I wave your hands and say, thank you, Lord. Amen. We just uh, heard from Pastor Harrison that uh, Apostle John in the land of Patmos could uh, see heaven open. That's why he wrote in 3 John chapter number 1, verse number 2, he says, I pray that you be in good health and you prosper because you have too much money in the bank. Did he say that? As your soul prospers. Amen. Go back and read that verse. Because as your soul prospers in the word of God and in faith, that is how you overcome the challenges that are facing me and you this season or this time. Amen. How many of you can believe? As our soul prospers. Because the spirit helps us to lift up a standard against everything that is coming against the will and plan and purpose of God in our lives. Amen. Amen. Once again, a warm welcome to all who are seated in this sanctuary as well as the ones who are watching us online. Uh, we wave our hands and say, be God bless. Uh, our, our protocols and our rules still continue for the COVID-19 situation. And hopefully, we believe that... Uh, situation will soon go away and uh, it's not by might it's not by power but the spirit of god will move and we need to pray and intercede on those uh, areas that we need to so that we are free to come and worship the lord so uh, also one more thing thank you for registering yourself online and for following the covid-19 protocols and the rules also if anybody misses out on the registration uh, we are giving you a leverage. This is an exception, not the rule. Uh, this is an exception, so you can come to the counter in the morning, and so we have a few more seats available, so we are willing to do that. So that should not be the rule. That's only the exception, I'm saying. So if you are uh, forgotten to register, or you didn't get the link, or you're busy on Thursdays, uh, then uh, feel free, just uh, come to the desk, uh, register yourself. The rules remain the same. So do that, and we go forward. So the next announcement is uh, the church school will be after the service and it will be online still. Uh, we are making a change for our Monday service. Uh, Monday service will be shifted to uh, the sanctuary from this week. That's uh, from February. So all the language groups, pastors, please uh, make a note of this and uh, you are come, uh, requested or you can join us on Monday service to, in this sanctuary. And again, the registration rules applies. There won't be any links coming out to you, but you can again come uh, and somebody will be there taking down your names and registering yourself uh, uh, on the desk and uh, according again to the COVID-19 protocol. So encourage your cell groups and whoever was missing the Monday 
uh, service, uh, please do come. Uh, there won't be samosas and coffees, but uh, soon uh, pray that we will have those after the service. Okay, as announced, uh, we will be having the ordination for deacons, pa uh, elders, and pastors. We are planning to do that mid-March. Uh, uh, already there is a handout or a procedural form or a rule uh, uh, document that is going out. Uh, uh, if you have not got it yet, uh, last week we announced, uh, so if you have not got it yet, uh, please contact your pastor or myself uh, so that uh, we can help you how to prepare. Why? Uh, this is not just applying for a job or something because we want to scrutinize or m make things faster. So we need to know uh, what you stand for, the calling and the election upon your life and your serving. Uh, and you have a good standing and a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is why we are doing this, uh, not as uh, something, you know, uh, as the normal world would do. But uh, just remember that you need to fill out that so that uh, we can just go through that and uh, we don't want anybody to stand out, but we want everybody to include it. But make sure that this is not a position, this is not a designation that you are getting, but your call is unto the Lord to serve the Lord uh, with your whole heart, soul, and mind, and body. Uh, thank you once again for that. Um, okay, so uh, we are going to now uh, pray for the birthdays and the wedding anniversaries. We are starting. Uh, so if anyone celebrating online, watching us online, as well as here, uh, you can rise to your feet. We will be praying for you, for your... Uh, doctor, can you stand up, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, we will be uh, praying for your we wedding anniversaries and birthdays. Uh, so there is uh, the doctor and his family celebrating the wedding anniversary. I think his birthday also is there. So uh, watching us online. All right. So we have the communion table. Um, we will... Uh, myself will pray for you. Father in heaven, we just let's close our eyes and look unto the Lord. Father in heaven, we just thank you and praise you for one more day that you added up in, your, in our lives, Father. Father, every perfect gift is from above, the word of God says. And Father, we truly believe that as we go through this challenging situation, these precious souls, these precious children of yours were guided, led by your Holy Spirit. You protected them, you cared for them. And your tender loving care, your mercy and your kindness and goodness was there. They enjoyed throughout the last year. As they stepped into a new year, Father, Father, let them have more of your grace upon their lives, in their family life, in their office or business jobs, whatever they are, Father, wherever they are, Father, let your grace be more than sufficient for them so that they can overcome everything by the grace of God and the word of God, Father. Thank you for their lives as they stepped into a new year. We as a church pray that your blessing will be upon them and you will be guiding them, leading them, Father, with your mercy, your kindness and goodness. And Father, they will walk by faith and not by sight. We bless them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that their married life will be blessed, Father, that the individual lives be blessed, Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, one more change uh, that we will be passing the offertory back right now. Uh, uh, so uh, the ushers who have appointed, uh, please take the backs from here and so that uh, we are going back to normal uh, for the offertory. So we'll have a song. Thank you. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders, the world is ever lost. Above all wealth, treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what your worth. Crucified, 
lay behind the stone to live to die rejected alone like a road trampled on the ground you took the ball I'm taught of me above all like a rose like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall taught of me above all Father in heaven we just thank you out of the blessings that you have given to our life we are giving a portion of it back unto you. Father, that, let this be used for the expansion of your kingdom. Bless the hands that contribute. I pray that, Father, giving unto the Lord is always a blessing. And Father, and they will prosper because their heart is unto you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for accepting our offering. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So that's for... Now, uh, and then we will come prayerfully as Pastor Jacob comes to minister to us from the Word of God, and then after that for the breaking of bread. So prayerfully, let's uh, listen to the Word of God this morning, and let's put our hands together and welcome Pastor Jacob one more time. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God's presence is here. How many of you really enjoying the presence of God? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Always thankful to God. Hallelujah. It's the greatest things we can have from God is presence presence the presence change the world is going in a difficult time and way but his presence comforts us give us peace we as the children of God we are the one who receive the peace of God. Hallelujah. That this world cannot give. Hallelujah. We thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Hallelujah. Last week, we were sharing about why we cannot pass on the Christian life which God has given to us. What is the reason? We bring two disciples in the time of Jesus Christ. From Luke chapter 24, verse uh, 13 to 35, we read last time. Today we are going to read from this. Who is reading? Asia? Oh, Venetia. Venetia is reading. Okay, thank you. Can you come and read that version? Today we are looking into the five reasons we read, uh, gone through. Why? One is fear, the second one is unbelief. And third one is, they don't know what will happen after the suffering. The whole council was not known to the uh, two disciples. That is why they cannot person. They gone back. This is the reason today also we face. And third one, they don't have the real revelation of Jesus Christ in their life. The risen Christ. That is our hope. 
that is our strength that is the holy spirit they lost all these things that is why they cannot soar god the christian life today we are looking what made them to soar i want your attention to look unto that two disciple before that we will read from chapter 24 luke chapter 24 verse 25 to 33 praise the lord a very good morning to all uh today i will be reading from the book of luke chapter 24 verses 25 to 33 then he said to them O foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory and beginning at Moses and all the prophets he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself then they drew near to the village where they were governing and he indicated that he would have gone farther but they constrained him saying abide in us for it is towards evening and the day is far spent and he went in to stay with them now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread blessed and broke it and gave it to them then their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished from their sight and they said to one another did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scriptures to us so they rose up that very hour and returned to jerusalem and found the 11 and those who were with them gathered together saying the lord is risen indeed and he has appeared to simon and they told about the things that had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread may the lord add his blessings to this word yeah i invite your attention again on the word 33 so they rose up that very hour underline that very hour they rose up on that very hour returned to jerusalem and found the 11 and those who were with them gathered together last week we saw in the 13th words now behold two men were traveling the same day look at the difference the same day and the same hour this is a one of the difference happened in their life returning the same day to jerusalem to emos after meeting jesus the same hour they returned back to jerusalem i want to give you a attention today what could made them to return by or person to the christian life or to return to the god or to return to the the place where sh- they should be hallelujah the 25th verse after this questions and arguing everything see 25th words jesus answered and telling them he said to them jesus christ says to them of oh, foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that prophets had spoken is stranger 
a co-journal. What a way to talk to this two of them. A foolish one. They both were arguing. I wonder why they are quiet. This stranger called them fool. I can say first reason to going back to Jerusalem, this disciple is a prepared heart to receive from Jesus. This is what we need today. Why we cannot accept the things of God, we are not having a prepared heart. How they could have that prepared heart. You listen what they are telling after, after all these things happened. What they are telling in verse 32. The word 32 says, and they said to one another. Now not arguing one another. What happened while we are coming, our Jesus joined with us what was happened to our heart. That is why I am so many times I am telling this. Lifting hands is good. Dancing is good. Singing is good. Everything we do, it is good. Something coming to the Christian life is studied from the heart of a person. One more time I will tell. Christian life start after reading that 32 words I will tell you. And they said to one another did not our heart bear. And within us it's not outside Something happened. Christian life is starting from inside. Bible clearly teach. One of the important teaching on the Bible is about what is happening inside. That is the important thing. Hallelujah. We should not mix. We should not misguide. Hallelujah. Wow, hallelujah. Uh, receiving the teaching of the things happening. Okay, all these things I believe more than you. Prophecy, miracles, all these things. But don't forget people who did about them, Jesus is telling in Matthew chapter 7. I don't know. I don't know them. Jesus is not talking about, I don't know the miracle, I don't know the prophecy, I know prophecy and miracle, what are happened, but I don't know them. Why? Why? It is not from heart. Again, I am reading 32 words. And they said to one another, did not our hearts burn within us while we talked with us on the road? And while he opened the scriptures to us. Dear brothers and sisters, this has to happen through the Holy Spirit work and hearing the unchanging word, preparing a heart, preparing a heart. 
this is the first reason in their life. Why they didn't say anything when they heard, fool, you fool. Keep ourselves in that place, that two disciples, and let think about that. A stranger, few time, talking each other, and the next time calling you fool, you will keep quiet. What made them to keep quiet is a prepared, this is what I say, a prepared heart. How it, is, it was prepared? By hearing the word of God and burning, coming out all the filthy things, arguments, jealousy, enemy, So they stop our king. Now, now they're starting the return. They're starting to press on with talking each other. What happened to us? This is what our testimony is in the church. Not getting mansions, not getting job. Not getting positions, not getting our children are in high position, that all good. Christian testimony is what happened to us after meeting Christ Jesus. What happened to our hearts? I was a Christian from on. God-fearing family. But here, in Bahrain, maybe 1979 or 80, somebody asked me. That was in a prayer meeting. 15 people are gathered. All are one year ending testifying God. Jesus is good for me. And last the leader was asking me, what about Sunny? He called my name by time, Sunny. What about you? I kept quiet. All of a sudden, such heaviness came to my heart. That is not living. That is not living. In short, I spent two, three hours with this man. I accept. I am a sinner. I came to know the little bit of what is the punishment of sin. I cried and accepted Jesus Christ. My heart, heaviness has gone that day. Are you hearing me? Did your heart is prepared? Do you want a real Christian life to press on? First thing. And moving forward. Second thing. Look at that people. What Jesus is telling in the air, foolish ones, slow in your heart to believe all things. Scripture, all things, 
full counsel of God. We can say like that. Full counsel of God. Eh? Full gospel church of Philadelphia. Full. Full. We are not putting any, as I told you before, full stop. They made a full stop. Jesus was a wonderful man. Jesus was doing miracle. Jesus was a prophet. So we thought he will be our everything. But, but a full stop. Now it is three days he died. You foolish. You don't know the full counsel of God. You don't know the scripture. Then look at that. The 16th verse says, Or not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory. This is what I think, I think, not only I'm thinking, it is correct. This is what we are losing when we go through trouble. When we go through problems. When we are challenged. We are not looking hereafter. Every struggle, every challenge, every temptation, thereafter, if you are a child of God, if you are a child of God, if you love God, there is something beyond that. That is what the Bible says, Romans chapter 8, 28. Because you love God. You know God. He rises again for you and me. Yeah, he lives. He holds a future. Not only for saying, when we go through trouble, when we are in need, he holds a future. We sang song. When the problem comes, where you are standing? What is your, what comes from your heart to your neighbor, to your friends? Is it a discouraging word? Or say, God will take care of me. He has a plan in this situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. There is after something. That Bible teach. Paul teach about that. After the suffering. He gone through very difficult time. In Timothy is telling, Second Timothy chapter one verse twelve, it says, "I know whom I believe. He is able to proceed me. He is able to help me." Push me to the God. He able to help me to help me keep that Christian life in my life. Hallelujah. Two things I told you. These people. Hallelujah. Had a prepared heart. And they understand. Our full stop is not a full stop. He can continue the sentence. He can continue the sentence. The man who is talking to me, they know what they said first uh, while talking each other. Oh, you are the only man. You are the the least man who knows what is happening in Jerusalem. Now they came to know. Journal, the stranger 
is not like that. Something he knows more than us. More than us. So what happened? In third thing, they believed he is good not only in the daytime, he is good in the night time also. You understand what? Hallelujah. Look at that people. You look, they are going. Night is coming near. They are compelling. Why they compel? They understand. This stranger is good to stay with us in the night. Hallelujah. Are you believing that? Hallelujah. In our struggles, in our problems, in our restrictions, in our hallelujah, anything of our life, sickness, whatever it may be, is good. Is good. What is it? In the hallelujah. Hmm? Which verse? Uh, 28 verse. 28 verse says. Then they draw near to the village where they were going and he indicated that he would have gone further. 29 verse says, but they constrained him. They cumbled him saying, abide with us for it is towards everything and the day is far spent and he went to stay with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Knowing Christ. How we can put, press on our life to the God. How we can press on our Christian life. Jesus himself said to John chapter 15. Without me, you cannot do anything. Not only in the day, not only in the dark night, the daytime. Whenever. They understand that. They compel him to stay with us. He's a good, hallelujah, companion to stay with us in the dark day. Dear brothers and sisters, was listening to me today. He's good. He's good. Is good in the darkness night. That is why Job in this book is saying, Is my song in the night? He sang that song. So. Is the song in my night? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more things. I want to bring to your attention. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Abide with me. Abide with me. As I, I was meditating. So I was thinking about that song. Who wrote that song? In 1847. A Scottish priest. A Reverend Henry Francis. Light. He wrote that song. Abide with me. Our choir is going to sing that song after my message. This was my prayer as we sang that prayer song. We want to make sure he lives with me. He's abide. That is a request, that's a prayer. Very great song. Then Henry William Henry Monk, William Henry Monk tuned that song. Abide with me. Is children will song, sing that song. I want to bring that to your attention. That song's first chance, Abide with me, 
fast than four. They even died. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When others, other helpless fail and comfort flee, abide with me. Help of helpless. Read all that songs. In the end, it says like this: In life, in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. Abide with me. Abide with me. I like such a songs more than other songs. I'm in that conference. He's with us in our darkest night. How great we are. How peaceful we are. May the God help you to believe and receive that. And two more things. I want to bring your attention. Thirtieth verse. Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Hallelujah. Again, look at that. What a picture. You look at that picture. Their house. Whose house? That two days disciples' house. They sat with them. Who is he? He's a visitor. Now, after they sit, before he, they want to eat, he took the bread. He took the bread. You know, especially even in our tradition, especially in Jews' tradition, never ever a guest will bless or open the dinner. Always that host is doing that here. Jesus took the bread. What it what it means? What do you understand? What I have to understand? On our life, Christian life, we have to we have to listen carefully. Listen carefully this. You have to hand over our Lordship to Jesus Christ. This is an important thing. We started a Christian life. On this journey, there's a day we have to Totally hand over to him. Somebody said, if Jesus is not the Lord of your whole, he is not at all a Lord. We have to hand over to him. This is what happening on that day. The fourth thing. How they press on to their God. How they press on. How we can press on to the Christian life. 
with hand overing the lordship once we were handling as we started the christian life one day we understand one lord comes and take over this is how to happen today is the day at a search we are handling or jesus christ is handling our life <coughs> the fifth things i notice on that people for things i told you one is they have prepared heart second thing is they believe in whole counsel of god after the suffering there is something they understand the third thing i say they invited christ to live with them abide with them the fourth thing is they understand they are no more controlling christ is controlling their life fifth one this 31 verse says then their eyes were opened and they knew him he vanished from their sight they knew him this is something great knowing him they were with christ on the journey they were sitting inside the home for the dinner with jesus they were not knowing they were not knowing in that dining table revelation comes is a secret this is a message take it at any time anywhere god can give a revelation to you one more time at any time any place it's not required i will fast 40 days for get a revelation no no need fasting is for something god decide whether you want me to know that day as they prepare their heart as they know the whole counsel of god as i invited them, they press on jesus he understand he is good for the night as he under our to him then jesus understand this is a time i have to reveal to him moses is a strong man he want to do so many things but he failed look at that mountain or is wandering there with the sheep failure man but god reveal there to moses with the sheep he taking care of the sheep hallelujah dear brothers and sisters god knows god knows he when you need he will reveal even in the kitchen while driving hmm at any time he reveal himself you have confidence the same hour they return to jerusalem 
the same hour. They return where they have to be. Dear brothers and sisters, how we can press on to our God. How we can press on a real Christian life. Hallelujah. Why? Starting with a pure heart. Receiving heart. Receiving Jesus. Receiving the word of God. Not murmuring. Not arguing. not keeping jealousy and receiving the whole counsel of god hallelujah understanding he alone he alone is helpful in the night knowing hallelujah and and overing our life to him with a full assurance he can control my life he can take my life into a destiny and the revelation of resurrected jesus christ a risen jesus christ that will never never tell you to hide go by word always always same moment he will help you to go forward hallelujah the same hour same hour hallelujah where is their fear gone where is their argument gone where is their disagreement gone each in that same night they join with hallelujah are you away from the church are you away from the saints are you away from the revelation of jesus christ today is a day open your heart to jesus open your heart to the word of god hallelujah silently here some is says in psalm 39 i kept quiet and listen not the wicked things but the scripture that burns inside i burns inside may the god almighty help all of us person yes. hallelujah can you please come we are going to sing that song this is my humble request to as you sing from your heart knowing that word let how the confidence in jesus christ abides in life in that all the time lord abides in me abides in me Can you all stand in the presence of God? Hallelujah.
Yes, Lord Jesus, we sang from our heart. We need you. Don't never away from us, Lord. You know how much more we need in this age that your closeness be more real to us, O Master. Real to us. Whoever here and listening to the Zoom and YouTube, let the presence of Jesus Christ so real and dear to them, O Master. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. God bless you all. God bless you. As we continue earlier, yeah, we are going to read the Bible word. This is my prayer request. If you are at home or here celebrating, that's that what we usually read the portion from the First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 onwards. That 17th verse says, Paul is noticed the Corinthian church and telling, I can understand this is not profit to you. This is not keeping you better. You mentioned that word, it keeps worse. Let us from our hearts pray personally and as a church we don't want this participation of his remembering his body and the blood and sharing from this never be less it is better to me. Better to me. Father, I pray again. Lord, help us. No disagreement. Unity. Unity. Any grudge, any selfishness, anything of our own, we don't want to keep and waste. We want a better participation. Help us, O Master. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As I read the Bible verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 onwards, let us prepare our hearts to partake in the Holy Communion. And this is the time to remember the Lord Christ, what He has done for us on the cross of Calvary. Let us prayerfully partake in this Holy Communion. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup of su after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. 
But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the, of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we, if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are disciplined by the Lord, that we might not be condemned with the world. I'm also reading from Luke chapter 22, verse 19. And he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father in heaven, we thank you. We remember your son, Jesus Christ, who sent for our sake and lived and died on the Calvary cross for our sin. You made possible to us to call you Abba Father. We thank you. Jesus, we remember your sacrificial death on the Calvary cross. Your body become broken for us. As we pray, let us have that confidence. We are one in Christ. You made it through the Calvary. Breaking your body. By your strife, we are healed. Our sins are forgiven. And you made us one. We all were scattered like a sheep. Once you bring us under your fall, we thank you, we remember all what you've done on the Calvary cross. As you lit and pray for the blood. That hands which we cannot see, but we believe, you will bless this. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Likewise, he also took the cup of supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Father, we thank you again for your son. Jesus, we thank you for the will to suffer for us. And the Calvary, you give your last drop of your blood. Your life, you are given to us. So we can endure the eternal life. As we remember and share from this cup, let us have that confidence. We will be with us, you. Because our sins are forgiven. We are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for the shed blood on the Calvary cross. And we ask your unseen hands to bless these cups. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 As you pass these cups, please open it and be ready. We will Together we'll eat and drink. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Father, we thank you. Glory to your name. Hope you all received and opened. Let us thank God and same manner. Let us thank God. Let us close in prayer. Pastor Dom will close in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's, let's, let's bow our heads in the presence of God. Most gracious, loving Father, we thank you that we can come before your presence in the name of you. Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this great privilege for us to partake from the table. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, so many could not partake at this particular time. We pray that touch their hearts. And if there is anything that is hindering them from partaking from this table, mm -hmm. we pray, Master, that their hearts will be right with you. Father, you have not said that by taking this cup, you will have many blessings, but what you said, Lord Jesus, if you take an unworthy manner, there will be consequences that you have to suffer, that many are sick, many are weak, and many are already asleep. Father, we pray that we will not fall in the second category, but we will have healing from partaking this table. Father, we also said in Old Testament, there are two tables, a table of blessing and the table of curse. And we pray that you have told us to choose life that we can partake from the blessing this table that you have given to us. Help us Lord not to partake after this table another table of the evil ones that we may be able to continually acknowledge what your son Lord Jesus has done on the cross of Calvary till he come again. Father we thank you even at this particular time, as we coming to the close of the service, we thank you for the praise and worship. Thank you for the order of the service that you have taken control of. And thank you for the word. And thank you for the table which was set before us. Father, we thank you. That's the greatest thing that we can do is give thanks. 
for all that you have done through your son, Lord Jesus. And because of what Lord Jesus done on the cross of Calvary, by grace, we are being saved through faith. Father, we thank you for this great opportunity and the privilege for us, even as we go from this place. We thank you, Master, that help us to live a perfect and pure life, that there will be no hindrance of sin will block our relationship between you and the Son and Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. Comfort us this morning and give us that assurance that you are with us always, even at the end of the age. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now receive the benediction. May the love of God the Father, the grace and peace of Lord Jesus Christ, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and go with you. And children of God say, Amen. Amen. Lord, we love to worship and to bless your name. You are so amazing and we bless your name. Lord, we love to worship and to bless your name more than anything. Oh, oh Lord, we love to worship and to bless your name. You are so amazing and we bless your name. Lord, we love to worship and to bless your name more than anything. We sing everyone, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Marvelous are you, and excellent and true, in everything you do. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Glorious and power, faithful every hour. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Glorious, glorious in power. Faithful every hour. Hallelujah, Lord. Glorious in power. Glorious in power. Faithful every hour. Hallelujah, Lord. Glorious in power. Glorious in power. Faithful every hour. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise Adonai. Praise the name of Jesus. Gadol Elohai. Kamoka Adonai. God bless you all.